Hello. I recently came to a realization. As you know, I wanted to restart Luna Lane and work on it from scratch and fix all of the issues and make it something better. Instead of just restarting the game, I tried a bunch of different things to make it something different, something quote unquote more, something quote unquote better. Today I'm going to walk through a few of the uh, testing things that I did, as well as talk about some news, some updates, and what's going on in the world of Luna Lane. Now I'm just going to spoil it right now. I am restarting Luna Lane. I am changing the story a little bit, but I am keeping the base gameplay that you guys know and love. I'm tweaking the movement a little bit, I'm tweaking a lot of the things a little bit, but I'm keeping it very similar to what I was making previously. I know a lot of you love what I was making previously, and I think I felt pressured into making something greater and better after receiving all the comments and help and feedback from you guys, and I didn't want to let you guys down, but I was trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do what kind of gameplay changes I would make, what I would do differently. And I just recently realized, you guys love the game for the game. People told me, I don't need to drastically change it. I don't need to drastically fix it because you guys loved it for what it was. And now that I've realized that, I'm, I'm filled with passion and ideas and thoughts on what to do and how to do it. And I've already restarted. I've completely redone the player animations and movement in about, I would say, 10% the amount of code than it was previously, and it also works for mouse and keyboard and controller seamlessly. It works nice, it was easy to work with, it's easy for me to add things, I also can change variables about the player very easily, and I, I want to do this for all parts of the game. I also was recently re-watching the Let's Plays of Luna Lane on YouTube, and I feel like there's a lot of things that are unanswered and not talked about more in depth, and most of the dialogue in the game feels tutorial and stiff, and I don't want that for my game, so I am going to rework the story. I'm also going to rework my level designs, but I'm going to keep the core characters, the core ideas, except for different locations. Everything is going to be contained inside the mansion now, but it is going to be uh, sectioned off into different biomes, I guess you could say. Next thing I want to say is, if you guys want to help me out during these, these Christmas times, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. It's, it's going to be getting harder and harder as I get older and older, not getting any money from doing this. So... If you guys become a patron, you help me out immensely. You help me, you know, get Christmas presents. You help me. You help me with everything. Groceries. Anything. You guys help me so much with that. So if you want to help me out, please do check it out. Um, I'm really lenient towards letting you guys have special stuff for being a patron. You know, I'll make you a character in a game. I'll make you, for example, I have... A few slots for paintings left where you get your own custom painting in Luna Lane that'll be on a wall in the game. There's a ton of stuff, go check it out, there's a link in the description. The second thing is, I'm going to let you guys play the last version of Luna Lane before I restart it. You can make let's plays of it, you can make videos, you can do live streams, you can do whatever you want with it, give me feedback, you can donate to the project on itch.io, anything you guys want, I would totally enjoy. The only thing is that some of the cutscenes in it are broken. That's the only thing that I want to tell you. Other than that, when you get in, make sure to delete your save if you have a save file from one of the older versions of the game. Other than that, enjoy it, have fun, do whatever you want, and let's look at the first Luna Lane test build that I was doing. This one was working on movement systems, different options for movement, different weapons, different like enemy things. I showed this in another video, but I worked on it a little more. So here you have the character. You can shoot this little orb thing. Here's an enemy that he doesn't do anything. <laughs> so you can see that I can jump. I also added a 
a dash so you can you can run a little faster there's the enemy doing something and this also had some work to be done with the camera let me try and make this jump this jump is really hard to make because the controls are bad no. so you can see that boom now I'm in a different room boom different room and I want to add that into the game for the subsections uh, I tried adding it to Luna Lane last night and I could not get it to work so I'm looking for solutions on how to get it to work but I'd still want a sort of system like that I added some some breakable objects there and then this is basically how enemy spawning would work since this is all contained on the same layout I don't want all of the enemies to be spawned at once so when you're in a certain room or zone I call them and you leave the enemies despawn and when you come back they respawn there's some there's some weird issues with this that I would have to solve in the actual game if I ever ended up doing this for example if I do this I can just spawn an infinite amount of number of enemies now keep in mind this I didn't really work out hard on it so that's why and then I also had a enemy damage things like that this actually helped me in the reworking of Luna Lane itself because I worked a lot on platforming and floatiness and a lot of different types of things in this camera and it helped me to really flesh out the movement in Luna Lane now. I'm not going to show you guys yet obviously because I'm keeping it a secret and it's going to be cool when I do end up showing you guys. But this was the project that I was originally working on. I then went in a completely different ugly direction with this. This is Lunal Enigma. I I was more so working on art and trying to make art that looks good. My bane of existence with art is trees, so I was trying to work on trees, also like layering and parallaxing in the background. This is absolutely ugly it is horrible and i was thinking of making like it was going to be a different version of lunal lane called lunal enigma it was going to be the same idea of metroidvania but it was going to take place in a giant forest dumb wasting my time not not essentially wasting my time though it, it helped me out with art and i eventually figured out how to kind of sort of draw trees properly and you can see that in Jelly Ventures with my newer trees that I've drawn. And that leaves me with the last thing that I want to say. I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for your comments and your support and your help. You guys have saved the game for me. I was so down in the dumps and so defeated that what I was making was, was bad and that I was digging myself into a hole with my bad coding and my bad writing and having all of this stuff be clustered and it was all building up on me. I wanted to make it up to you guys in a way that it was amazing and you were all blown away and you were all sold on the idea and I, I think that was me just being way too anxious about it and overthinking it because most of you guys are already sold on the idea. You guys already love the game, you love the world, you love the characters and you're very passionate about what I've been doing and I I was getting into mentality of trying to be something that I, I wasn't and trying to be different and that's wrong and you should always just be yourself and do what you do I, d I shouldn't change Luna Lane to be something that it isn't it is what it is and I love it for how it is I had an original idea and a dream and I've put all that love and care into it I'm not giving up on the project I'm going to bounce back between Jelly Ventures and Luna Lane, and I just want to thank you guys so much for having faith in me and supporting me through all of this. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Please leave a comment about what your favorite part of Luna Lane is, and I will personally thank you. I want to thank all of you. If you want to get to know me, there's a Discord link in the description. I have a Twitter. You can ask me questions. You can talk to me. I, I love all of you guys. You are all my friends. and. Thank you so much. If you're an indie dev, comment down below. Say I'm an indie dev and I make videos and people will go to your videos. We're all a big community. I want to see all the stuff you're doing. And I know you guys like seeing what I've been doing. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode 
of the Luna Lane devlog. As always, I'll see you in the next devlog. Riptide stole my outro in his his video. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. He stole my outro. Bye.